Hello Aries, it's Milady from Ladies Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading from September 11th through September 18th, 2017. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for a like, share, and subscribing and setting up personal readings. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And let's get this show on the road, okay? All right, what's going on for the Aries, Aries, Aries? What's going on for the Aries? Love reading. 9, 11 through 9, 18, 9, 11. Oh, jeez. There's something flying now. 9-11 through 9-18, 2017. 9-11 through 9-18, 2017. Love reading. What's going on? Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries. All right, guys. Okay, this week is all about freedom. Let's see what's going on. What's going on for the Aries? Aries, Aries, 9 11 through 9 18, 2017. Aries love reading 9 11 through 9 18, 2017. Mm. Okay, so it seems like somebody might be leaving somebody because they want too much. Somebody's asking for too much. Or just not giving them enough. I feel like somebody is about to leave because they just not getting what they want. Like either they're not getting nothing or not, somebody's not giving them something. That's what I'm seeing. That's all I can see is. Or somebody might be leaving you because you turned them down. Yeah, so it's like basically somebody just want to go because they're not getting what they want. Okay. Okay, so Okay, it is two stories. All right, one side is somebody's not getting what they they want. And then the other side is somebody feel like you might be using them. That's why they're not. You know, I guess that's the same thing. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's not looking too good for the future, okay? All right, what's not looking good for the Aries for 9-11 through 9-18-2017 Aries? Aries, what's not looking good for the Aries 9-11 through 9-18-2017? Uh, wow, okay, so it seems like somebody is trying to get you to open your heart. So one person is like, I feel like somebody might be trying to leave because somebody won't open their heart. But then I feel like one person is trying to use the other person, okay? So one person is leaving, wants to leave because they're not getting the emotional um, attention that they want. And the other one just wants to use the Aries. So it's not looking good for the Aries, but it's a general reading it can go either way. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so it seems like somebody may want to try to have a new beginning with you. So this could be a new relationship or this could be somebody wants you to have their baby. Wants you to be pregnant or just somebody that you're dealing with might be pregnant. So just be careful. But this sort of makes me feel like a new person is trying to use you for some reason. And you want them to open their heart. That's what I'm saying. Okay going on for the Aries, Aries, Aries. All right, you got a flipper. All right, so you guys are sexually attracted to each other. Okay. I don't know if active here, but I know you guys are sexually attracted to each other. But be careful because there is some fertility here. Even if this is a new beginning, there, this is a fertile time for you guys. All right, so I feel like 
the person who wants to be free, like Aries, you want to be free because this person won't open your heart, but you are attracted to them and you feel like they can take you to better places. But this person is just looking at you like they just, they just want stuff from you. It's, it could be a new beginning or it could be somebody wants to get you pregnant. But it seems like it may be good for them, whatever's getting ready to happen in the future situation. But I don't feel like it's going to be good for you. Okay. All right, what's at the bottom? Okay, so I don't know. You guys might be planning some kind of trip or somebody might be trying to come close to you. Or you just feel like you can't um, get a hold to this person. You can't, you know, um, get to these potions person's emotions mentally you know all right so read these cards straight out of the book cleo cards all right what's going on for the aries for the week of 9 11 through 9 18 aries love reading 9 11 Ooh. yeah damn if that's not the freedom card i don't know what it is but somebody definitely is done they packing up all their stuff and they leaving that could be that travel card too they trying to go somewhere where they can uh, be found or it's just that uh, it's like I feel like <laughs> you got one last chance you got one last chance to do the right thing or I'm picking up and leaving you know yeah I feel like somebody already got their sights to where they're gonna be going they already got plans on leaving you know I feel like this might be you Aries but this could be your partner also but mm. I, one person is not emotionally satisfied, and then the other person is not um, materialistically satisfied. Okay. Aries, Aries, Aries. Love reading 9-11 through 9-18-2017. Aries, Aries, Aries. Okay, so there's a lot of fertility going on here. And this could be new beginnings, so it could be like a new relationship and somebody got pregnant with it or somebody just start like really caring a lot, possibly too much off the bat. Okay. Mm. All right, so it seems like somebody's coming out of a time of feeling stabbed in a bag. So it seems like, I don't know why I'm feeling like the reverse cards on this particular reading is coming from the other party. Like... This is the way one person feels. This is the way the other one. But this here, I feel like um, the person you're dealing with might have some emotional issues from people stabbing them in the back, you know? You know, you're trying to create peace, and they bring in um, negativity. That's just what I'm feeling right now. But I'm going to read these anyway. All right, so you have a bunch of arguing going on. Okay, it's look like somebody about to get their little feelings hurt. Okay, so the eight of coins came up. All right, so I am going to read these for you guys. First, we have the Empress. The Empress says, um, at, at times you may doubt yourself or circumstances. However, new and exciting times are approaching. A time of love, sensuality, sensuality and pregnancy might be indicated. Okay? All right. Ten of Swords reversed. Cut it out, gentle. Okay, Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I can't find it. All right, there it is. Um, a temporary success, advancement of position. So I feel like this person coming in. Whew, I think that, yeah, I feel like this is a new relationship. And I feel like this person coming in is trying to uh, make you believe some things about them that aren't true. You know, they're trying to act like that they are not emotionally unstable. And they're, like, trying to get you to be with them. But it's going to end up in a lot of argument and fighting, you know. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups reversed. And it says, Elaborate Separation. No, oh, sorry. Elaborate celebration, proclaimed happiness, and gatherings. New possibilities can be created when you look at alternate directions. 
All right, that's the Eight of Cups right here. I don't know why I felt like I needed to read that first in the uh, Nine of Staffs. So this is basically saying maybe you need to find out more about this person before you guys start going any farther because it's a possibility that you might get pregnant or impregnate this person, but I'm feeling some serious mental issues getting ready to go on. And I feel like some one of you jumped in and your heart is just straight up in there. And then the other one is just trying to sneak in. I don't need, I guess, for material gain. And then they just going to, like, start arguing and fighting. And ultimately, you're going to get your feelings hurt. But I think I said that already. Let's read this. Nine of staffs. No, five. Wow. What is wrong with me today? All right. Uh, people are fighting. Caution must be used um, as harm may follow. Arguments can occur and, and or continue. So that just means, I don't know. I feel like some kind of past event, maybe some kind of baby in the past is going to come uh, bring up a bunch of arguments. Okay. All right. So we got the three of swords. Three of swords. All right. Um, a broken heart, whether in a relationship or in life, ending up in an affair. A bitter heartbreak, tear, take care of emotional problems. So you guys might end up just stop talking to each other after this. This might be um, this might be, this might be it. You know, like I can't take it anymore. It's too early for this kind of stuff. All right, so we got the four cups. It says, um, you may become very tired as life is very stressful. Do not let disappointment or some past negative worry your worry you further disappointment so yeah it seems like this bull crap from the past is the reason all this is gonna be jacked up so i'm feeling like it's the opposite person like it's two different persons so but if this is you you need to stop worrying about what people did to you in the past because it's gonna uh, mess up your relationship and for the crosswalk watchers this is for you too uh if you doing this to the aries you need to watch out because they they getting ready to pack their bags and go okay other than that, um, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you're on a personal read, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And I am praying for everybody affected by the this horrible weather going on. Uh, Arma, Jose, and Andrew. Uh, everybody, just, I don't know, pray for everybody. Or do what you can. Donate whatever to them. But that's all I have, and have a great week.